So you're turning 40, 50, 60, and it's kind of hitting you. You need to start to do something to keep the health that you have today for decades to come. You need to think a little bit about longevity because you want to take advantage of all these years that are left. Here's what you need to think about. A number of things here that have all been documented to support not only longevity, but more than this health span, meaning in the years that are left, you want to be able to have the max, the maximum out of it. So calorie restriction, which has been the most documented in longevity. Tons of research here, because what is calorie restriction? Do you eat less? Uh, do you fast? Uh, do you cut sugars, fat, proteins? Uh, do you have calorie restriction 30% of your, of your diet, 40%, uh, 50% of your calories? So if we sift through all of this, here's the trick. 30% is what is best. You could say that I'm going to fast one day out of three, but then it creates like a, a, it's not a very sustainable dynamic. So just cut one meal, breakfast or dinner. That will give you also intermittent fasting. That's the ideal if you can do this. If you cannot do this, just have less food at every single meal. Stay a little bit on an appetite at the end of each meal. It's the easiest thing to do. Your stomach will shrink, you'll get used to it, and everything will be fine. And the trick here is that it's protein restriction that has been associated with longevity. We would not think this. We would think it's sugar, but most of these studies were done in fruit flies, in, in, in uh, nematodes, and yeast, and, and we are not fruit fly. We need to fight against gravity much more, so we need muscle mass. So, but don't have too much protein. I think that's the, that's the end result of all these studies. So make sure you have a balanced diet, cut on the sugar. This is where you need to cut your calories as much as possible and, uh, and do this for a while. You'll see the impact of this on your health. Physical activity, tons of research showing how physical activity can support cognitive function, overall brain function, stem cell function, so many different impacts. If there's one thing that you need to do and you need to start to do here, your resolution in 2025, start to have physical activity. We're not talking about big things. You don't need to run a marathon every day. Overall, 20 minutes a day is plenty. Just move, move. You don't need to break a sweat and increase your heart rate, that's it. If you do that, it's going to good for, be good for longevity. Uh, don't worry about the small stuff. The impact of anxiety on your health is, can be dramatic. We won't have the time here to go into the, the depth of it, but don't smet, the, control stress, control anxiety. And there's a direct link between how many stem cells you have in your bloodstream and your ability to keep the health that you have today for decades to come. So put more stem cells in circulation. And the best way to do this it is basically the last 30 years or so of my research in the whole field of stem cell research, stem regen. You take two capsules, it will put on that day within two, three hours, an additional, an additional 10 million stem cells in circulation that will be there to keep you healthy today. And if you do this every day, well, today and every day until the rest of your life.